However, you have made it incredibly easy for me to sell my message. I am a young person. <laughs> I am a naive person. <laughs> I am idealistic and quite often times, as Francis and Anthony can attest to, I am a bit stupid. But I'm very, very passionate about New Zealand, particularly Wellington and particularly science. And it's <coughs> under that guise that I'm here to speak to you today and hopefully implore you for your support. Um, I do all sorts of things. In my current incarnation, I am a PhD student with the McDermott Institute for Advanced Materials. Now, before you go thinking that I'm an intelligent person like Graham, I'm not. I'm about as far away intellectually from a proper scientist as you can get and still claim a paycheck. Um, <laughs> I do all sorts of other things as well, though, uh, because I'm not a good scientist, so I play to my strengths, which is talking and pretending I do things. Um, and in one of these guises, uh, we've attempted to address uh, a number of pressing issues, particularly in the field of science in New Zealand. And it's one that Sir Paul Callaghan was very aware of, and I know that this club is aware of because of your support of the Eureka Symposium and other events. And that is that a lot of our high qualified graduates study here. Some of us are even lucky enough to derive our pay through a roundabout source through the New Zealand taxpayer. Uh, and then once we've completed our qualifications, we scupper to Australia or pretty much anywhere else. And as you've noted, it's not because New Zealand isn't a great place to live. Wellington is a fantastic city. And I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I love Wellington to bits because yesterday, myself, and 200 other young people dressed up as pirates and we ran around the entire city to be a bit surreal and to raise money for SPCA. That was great fun. I've still got some eyeliner left on. I'm really hoping you can't see that. But how many cities, how many countries in the world could you do that without being arrested? It's absolutely fantastic. Wellington and New Zealand in general is a wonderful place to live. And it breaks my heart that so many of our graduates are leaving when I personally believe there's no great reason for them to. Now, there are, there are personal reasons. I personally want to go overseas and work because I want to be better, but I want to come back. And the big problem with coming back is that a lot of graduates, while they're studying here, be they from New Zealand or overseas, don't engage with communities. They don't engage with clubs. They don't go out and dress as pirates and do random mad stuff. And this, in my belief, is in one part of why they leave. That's aside. The specific reason I'm here to, you to, to talk to you today is because of an organisation called Chiasma. Uh, myself and a fellow PhD student last year realised going through our PhDs that the other reason that we might leave is that we had no idea where to find a job after the completion of our PhD studies. And my friend Ben uh, is much smarter than me and this kind of this struck me as a bit strange. He's made huge advances in his field from right here in New Zealand and no one has offered him a job. I think that's a little bit odd. So we decided to address it. We, uh, Sir Paul Callaghan had inspired us to go and do things, so we went out and we started talking to industry. And we found that industry, by and large, was going, where are all the high-skilled people at? <laughs> where have they gone? Why can't we get them? And so we decided to create this organisation called Chiasma Wellington to bring these two bodies together. And that's what we've been doing for the past 12 months. We've been visiting industry and bringing them together with students. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the details of what we do. If you're interested, I have booklets that describe the sorts of things we've done this year. But essentially, we give students and industry people as much face time as possible because we believe in the idea of serendipity. We believe in the idea that when you get two people, regardless of age or interest, and get them talking to each other, amazing things happen because of that. So, if you guys would like to engage with our members, and they're everything from first year university science and engineering students to jaded ancient PhD students like me, and everything else in between, if you want to meet them, we hold events. We hold at least two networking events a year. Our first one will be in February of next year. It will be a Chiasma launch, and I'll send an invite via Francis, I hope. <laughs> he doesn't know that yet, but that's okay. Uh, and then we also hold a second event called Synapse, which we've just held this year, and we'll be holding it again next year. You can come along to that. It's free. We put on food and a show, and someone more entertaining than me will speak. But this is one way you can engage with our graduates, or you can come and talk to me afterwards. This year, we've managed to get five students placed with local companies. We try and educate companies and students on where to get money to hire these people. So we do a booklet. It's, it's got pictures. 
if you like pictures. <laughs> and you can come and get these from me afterwards as well. We know students like pictures. It's not specifically directed at you. <coughs> but there are three things I would ask, I would implore from you. One, if you know people that could benefit from knowing me or from science and engineering graduate or undergraduate students, please, please, just tell them about us. We're very new, we've been around for a year, and we're still growing our networks, and we need to grow them more. The second is come along to our events. They're free! <laughs> and you get fed and watered, uh, if you so desire, and you will genuinely meet some interesting, passionate young people that want to make a difference. I think it's fantastic that you're suppo supporting a polio eradication um, uh, program. I had no idea that was going on. Students in science... <coughs> really want to make a difference. That's why most of us are doing it. It's not for the salary, I can tell you that much. But if you want to contact these people, come along to a Kaiser event. That's what we'd love to do. The final way is if you have a company, be it science or not, and you're interested in showing some young, hopefully intelligent graduates around, let me know. We can organize a site visit. We can bring five students particularly skilled or interested in your area. We can bring them around. We'll shout them coffee in a bus or something to come out and visit you, and you can talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. That's what we'd like to do, but we won't be able to do it alone. So I'll finish it up there. Uh, if you have any questions, <coughs> feel free to either fire them at me now or come and talk to me afterwards. Other than that, thanks for your attention.